Hey guys, it's Shade here. I just wanted to do a really quick video looking at this new paint that I got. It's Zirconium Cerulean Blue from Kramer Pigments. I've never ordered anything from Kramer Pigments before, but I saw somewhere that they had this pigment, which is PB71. Kramer is normally a pigment manufacturer, that's why Crema Pigment, but they also make a few of their colors in watercolor and oils and other things. So I ordered a full pan of their Zirconium Cerulean. In addition to my whole pan, they sent me this huge catalog, which is actually really cool because it has a lot of interesting specialist tools and different things that you probably wouldn't see anywhere else. So why am I so excited about Zirconium Cerulean Blue? Cerulean is probably one of my favorite blues to paint with. It's this beautiful, cool, light blue that granulates gorgeously. A lot of people don't like using it because it is quite opaque, as you can see in the swatch here. But I think that when it's diluted, it's just gorgeous and that it's really beautiful for painting skies and for painting snow. However, I had to take it off of my palette because, like I said in other video, I don't like to work with toxic pigments and Cerulean is actually a toxic pigment. So I had to kick it out and use diluted Thalo Blue for a while, but that wasn't a really good substitute. But then I heard that there is Zirconium Cerulean Blue, which is a non-toxic alternative and actually it granulates even more crazily than normal Cerulean. The hue is really nice. It is a really heavy pigment, so as you can see, once you put it down, it doesn't go anywhere else. It's very lifting and very light in the mass tone. So when you want something that's not quite as intense as a thalo or an ultramarine or something, you can go for this cerulean blue. I want to do a couple of mixes for you guys. The first one is with Potter's Pink. Cerulean Blue and Potter's Pink make this really interesting series of grays to purples that are really nice and muted and that was pretty unexpected. Next, then we have this with PY175 and it makes these really vivid, vibrant greens that also granulate, perfect for the spring plants that are coming up right now. After that, I tried it with some quinacridone magenta and that also makes these really bright purples but you're getting granulating purples, which is not something that you get a ton of the time. I also mixed it with a bit of Indian Red, which makes really darker, grayer, muted tones, sort of like the way that you can with Ultramarine Blue and Burnt Sienna. Look up these up close, you can see just the different tones that you can have with these is really gorgeous. In addition, I did a painting, since like I said, I really love Cerulean for skies and snow. That's exactly what I painted. This is from a forest that's nearby where I live. And you can see already, just in the beginning, there's just a crazy amount of granulation. Maybe a little bit too much granulation. I don't know, if you're obsessed with granulation, this is probably a really good pigment to get. I would also recommend this to anybody who's interested in genuine manganese blue. Manganese blue is extremely toxic, which is why most manufacturers don't make it anymore. But I saw some swatches and apparently this pigment granulates nearly as much as that does. And if you add a little bit of thalo green or thalo blue to it, you'll actually get something that seems to me to match exactly without having any of those toxicity issues. I really love this color because I feel like you can move it around and get the same hue as you would with a cobalt or any of those other blues without having to worry about toxicity. And it handles really well.
So I just wanted to share this with you because I know that it's not exactly a common pigment and not really something that you can just pick up in the store unless you live near Kama Pigment. I think they have a store here in Germany and they also have one in New York. So if anybody else has concerns about those sort of things and they want some kind of cerulean substitute or they're just super duper into granulation, I think you should check this out from Karma Pigment. Hope that you guys enjoyed learning about this. I'm really excited to see what I can do with it in my palette. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Bye!